Welcome to another episode of FIFA Kings Bitches. In this episode, we're going through two players, two men who have been in the limelight for approximately two weeks now. How good are they, them two? They're absolutely crazy. Giroud versus Benzema. Who gonna, is better? We're going to start off with Giroud. We have Giroud coming in from uh, uh, Montpellier. He's had a couple of good seasons at Arsenal. Three, four good seasons. I mean... He's, the main type of player this man is, is he's a target man. Every time he gets the ball, he's a target man. His strength is heading, strong, he brings the ball down, helps the midfield out into play, he gets some good assists. However, his he, weaknesses. He, he, the problem with Jeru is, he, you pass him the ball, he gives it you back. Sometimes you want someone to take players on. His pace is a big, big Big negative. He is one footed, one dimensional. His agility is lackluster. It is poor. He couldn't jump over a hurdle if he tried to save his life. He he's he's not a game changer. He doesn't have a Theo Walcott, a Suarez. You, you see the moments where he just spins and he just has a shot and he's like, oh, I hit the post. That was a good shot though. But you know, he doesn't have that kind of effect. There's no genius score, and I think that's what Henri means when Arsenal might need a different striker to win the league because there's there's no character in the strikers I mean we've got Ozil we've got Sanchez we've got Cazola we've got Theo Walcott these players have their own characteristics with Giroud yeah he helps out the midfield he helps out defense when he with his big you know big strong presence however he just he just doesn't have the same movement when when Arsenal is so used to someone called someone like Henri and then we have Giroud Giroud is as reliable as the English weather you do not know what is going on, but somebody, he has moments where he's just absolutely brilliant. He, he takes few players on, he has a little shot outside of foot finesse in real life. But he just changes. The next day, next week, he plays a game and he misses chances, like against in Monaco. You know, he's Olivier Giroud. Fair enough, he gets into the positions, you know, every time. But the thing is, what's the point getting into positions when you're not going to finish them? You have to make finishes, in, especially if you're playing for Arsenal. You ain't going to get the ball, that far. you're not going to keep hold of the ball for that long. The only thing you could do with Giroud, Olivier Giroud, the only thing you can do with him is get the ball in the corner flag, cross the fucking ball in, jump up and that motherfucker will head it, that's about it. That's he, all he's got. I mean, every time, the, the guy will get the headers on target. In the game, I mean, his heading's at uh, 95, um, his, uh, his, uh, his jumping's about 95, I mean... He doesn't really have the the, the, the strength in the in the power head isn't there. He's, he's six foot four, and for a six foot four man, you're bound to head the ball. It is expected to head the ball. If you cannot head the ball, Olivier Giroud, then you cannot do fucking anything. I love him. He he has this passion in real life, and he scores goals, and he loves the club. That's the problem. He loves it. You don't want to let him go. Now we're going to move on to my favourite Benzema, I want him to come to Arsenal, he's the man to take us further, his stats do not lie my friends, he's 85 dribbling, curve is 80, dribbling is uh, 88 finishing, short passing is marvellous with 84, you know, he, he has the acceleration, he can take off, he can carry on running, you won't have Sergio Ramos up your ass. The agility is there, that's what he's trying to say, every time he gets the ball, he seems like he can bob and weave through players, he, he just... You know, he's, he's, he's just a beautiful player to watch. He gets in the right positions. He, he Like Thierry says, you want someone who you want to get in the right positions. He gets in the right positions, he scores beautiful goals, he knows, and he links up perfectly with Mesut Ozil. He has this uniqueness that he can score, you know that defenders fear him. He truly is a, a, a marvellous player. I mean, the best thing, the best thing about um, the uh, Benzema is, I mean, every time he gets the ball, no matter where he is, this guy can just pop a shot off. If he's got the ball, he's, he's created the space. He can pop the shot. But Giroud, he's got he's got perfect long shots. It's just that you can't get into the positions to actually shoot. As you can see on the screen now, I mean, everything that we're going to show now is Benzema in the game. It's the, just incredible. He's got really good hip movement. He spins. His agility is always perfect. You see some moments he makes these marvellous fucking runs. And he just runs with the ball knowing that he can take play. But Arsenal need that player where they have fearless. Like the Van Persies, Thierry Henry's, Dennis Bergkamp's. You need players that can compete with Sergio Aguero, Diego Costa, Falcao. Even though he's playing shit. You need these type of players, my friends. You need these type of players for to win the league. 
league. Arsenal have won FA Cup for two years. They need that player to win the league. But is he going to come though? Is he going to come to Arsenal? That's the question. I mean, fair enough, we're buying him and we're trying to put bids in for him. But is it Benitez even going to get? Is he even going to give him to his Arsenal? I, I I think that Benitez will have a problem in his hands, a good problem for him. He's got Ronald Royce coming on the left. He might be coming Marco Royce for a, a fee of thirty-five to forty million pound. He's a great player. He's moving on to the left. Ronaldo will play up front, and that would leave Benzema as option number two. And does Karim, the man, Benzema, want to be an option too? If he comes to Arsenal, he would be treated like a legend. He could either be a legend or just another player at Real Madrid who had a great season and went to another club. I mean, look at the advantages. He's got Ozil He's going to be playing next to him. He's played with him at Real Madrid. They share the same faith, uh, the good mates. I mean, you can see by the pictures that they were when they were at Real Madrid. Um... I mean, he's going to be competing with the likes of Diego Costa. He's going to be playing with uh, under Arsene Wenger. Arsene Wenger fancies the pants out of him. He's been after him for a long, long time. This motherfucker will score from any angle. You give this guy half a chance and he will swallow it. He will swallow it, take a gulp, look at the fucking keeper and score a goal. This guy has this aura where he, he makes others play. Karim Benzema, he's a very underrated player. You say underrated, Giroud, but this man is underrated. His finesse, his genesis uh, quite is there. I mean, after playing with Giroud, Benzema seems like a Ronaldo to us. I mean, every time we got the ball, it just, it's unbelievable the things we were able to pull off. We played a few matches with Giroud and it was very difficult to actually get the clips. I mean, look at this clip here. It's just, it's unbelievable. He truly is a phenomenal player. That clip was marvellous. But Benzema is just in and out, in and out. And he has a pop. What a fucking goal. Just take a look at that goal and take a bow to this great player. I scored some, had a few chances where I could score a few screamers. His long shot is quite low. He's 79, but he truly in the game, it is a lot more. He had a lot of opportunities where he could finish. He truly is a great player. To conclude, Karim Benzema, if he comes to Arsenal, it will make Arsenal title contenders. We love Giroud. We really do. But the truth is, Giroud is good enough to win you the FA Cup. But he is not good enough to win you the league. He's just not good enough. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I appreciate everything. Like, share and subscribe ladies and gentlemen. Because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We're not here to take part. We're here to take over.